Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with four boxes of 2021 Hit Parade Autograph Triple Play Baseball. Series number five, this is random team break number one. Big thanks to this group right here for getting in on the action. There are the teams right here. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Five and a one, six times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, and a one, sixth and final time. We got Adam St. Ange down to Adam Copperman. Five and a one, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and a one, sixth and final time. We got the Cubs down to the Phillies. Right, after six times, great. Now trades are allowed, but remember to trade at your own risk. We discussed this. We also discussed something that we started uh, before the video. We discussed uh, that we're going to be using our college rules, right? Especially for the autograph baseballs or our non no checklist rules in this case for the autograph baseballs. Unless there's like a year or a team clearly stamped on the baseball, right? Not not the inscription, but like uh, on the actual official baseball itself. It'll go to the team that they're currently on if they're active. Right? This is especially for the baseballs, the autograph baseballs, or the team they played for the longest if they're retired. All right. Adam with the Cubs, PJ with the Rangers, Mike with the Rockies, Allen with the Red Sox, Victor with the Angels, Michael with the White Sox, TJ with the Reds, Adam K with the Mets, Allen with the Marlins, PJ with the Strohs, Travis with the Mariners, Matthew with the Rays, PJ with the Padres and the Royals. Eastwood with the Blue Jays. Cody, you got my Dodgers. PJ with the Yankees. Michael P with the Indians. Oliver with the A's. Tyler with the Giants. Cody with the Brew Crew. TJ with the O's. Michael P, last spot, Mojo. Twins. Tyler with the Cardinals. PJ with the Braves. Jake with the Nationals. David, the Big Boys 007 with the Pirates. Matt Hedges with the Tigers. Allen with the Diamondbacks. Adam with the Philadelphia Phillies. All right, let's sort by column B. Again, trade at your own risk. But feel free to trade. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then the break. Stick around. Be right back. All right. Welcome back, everybody. As you can see on your screen, there were two deals done. So Adam is out of the Cubs spot and into the Red Sox spot. Put a T there for trade. Trading with Allen, who now has the Cubs. There was another trade. Michael P. is out of the White Sox spot and into the Orioles spot. We'll put a lowercase t there. And TJ is out of the Orioles spot and now into the White Sox spot. TJ normally wouldn't trade the Orioles, he says, but for the White Sox, we'll make that exception. All right, now the trade window is closed. Let's print, let's rip. Let's see what happens in this four box break. So the four boxes are right back here. All hand numbered, triple play, series five. We're doing. I think this was the only series we had in the back, but yeah, series five, four box, random team one. All right. Here's the official printout, hot off the presses. Thanks very much for spending your Thursday with me, ladies and gentlemen. see what we have in here. All right, let's do the eight by 10 photo first. Oh, they have stickers on the back that tells me who this is, okay. Let's play a quick round of Who Am I? I think we can play it with, that, with the photos as well. We'll make the photo a little bit more uh, into more of an easier one here. All right, Who Am I? Retired left fielder, first baseman, third baseman, and DH. Three-time MLB All-Star, a career 442 home runs and 1,210 runs batted in. 
in my 16 year career. Who am I? A righty. Ended up with a 236 batting average as well. He would have fit right in in modern day baseball. Played with the, well, I don't know what team he's on on this picture. It'll go to the team he's on with the picture. But uh, Giants, play with the Giants, Mets, Padres, Angels, Yankees, Cubs, Mets, A's. And a two time home run leader as well, two time NL home run leader. Righty from Pendleton, Oregon. Uh, some of you remember that Tommy Lasorda had some choice words about this guy back in the day in an infamous uh, press conference. Michael P., yep, yeah, TJ's right. We do have repack products like Hit Parade. We've done them a lot. Our repack products, right, a Big Hit Express, Mystery Crates, all that sort of stuff, very, very similar to this. Who am I? The Tommy Lasorda, not, not going to give it away for anybody? He played from, I played from 1971 to 1986. Only one person in the chat's got it so far. Nope, not Kevin Mitchell. Eric Jennings is the only person who got it. It's Dave Kingman. Cubs edition. So that'll go to Alan Murdoch, who got the Cubs. He's drawing first blood in the trade. There's all the David Adams authentication right there. You can see Dave Kingman right there. Nice, Dave Kingman. Yeah, played with the Cubs from 78 to 1980. And this will be the let's call it triple play. All right. Next up is I don't know if some some of you may saw may have seen the name. I think this All right, I'm a baseball player. This team signed me at uh, 16 years old as an international free agent in July 2017 for a signing bonus of $1.75 million. Made my professional debut with the uh, Dominican Summer League of this team in 2018, primarily a right fielder. Supposed to be pretty good. Let's see, in 2019, went to Class A in West Virginia, promoted to High A. Uh, to Modesto, if you know your minor league teams, you know who, what team this will be. Um, in high A, became one of the only three 18-year-olds in all of minor league baseball to play high A ball in 2019. I think I kind of showed you the name right there. I was in the Futures game this year, too. Yeah, Adam's got it. It's Julio Rodriguez. There's the Beckett certificate in there. Nice clean baseball. There's the Beckett sticker there. And I don't know which way. I think Julio Rodriguez's autograph goes that way. Adam, you saw the name? Yeah, I think his autograph does go this way. That's kind of the J right there.
Nice Julio Rodriguez. That's for the Mariners. And that'll be for Travis. Yeah, he's supposed to be he's supposed to be real good. All right. The autographed jersey. Let's see if I could spy who this is. Oh, okay. All right, who am I? Another retired baseball player. A right-handed uh, th righty, third baseman, lifetime 279 average, 223 home runs, 952 runs batted in, played for three teams my entire career, ended up with four All-Star appearances and two World Series championships, including a World Series MVP, a one-time gold glover, and a silver slugger as well. Who am I? I do a little work on the uh, on on the MLB network as well. All right, there you go, Michael. Use that as a clue. Not Jim Laird's, not Longoria, not Beltre. I don't think Longoria is a two-time World Series champion. Beltre is not a two-time World Series champion. Getting closer with Kevin Millar. Eric Jennings got it. Yeah, Mike Lowell. Nice. Yeah, TJ got it too. There's Mike Lowell. Silver ink autograph right on his number. There's the David Adams authenticity card. There's Lowell back here. Looks like a an official jersey as well. So it must have all the officially licensed stuff. It's worth taking a look. Got some additional tags right there as well. Nice. Got the majestic stuff right here. Nice Boston on the front. Majestic tags on the sleeves. There you go. Oh, nice. Yeah, for TJ, the MLB Network clue gave it away. All right, very cool looking jersey. Let's uh, kind of fold this up nicely. Actually, let's keep it in the box here. And that's going to go to Adam with the Red Sox. So now that that trade is evened out. So both the trader and the tradee have gotten something. And Adam's a fun fact, he went to his retirement game. He's a big Mike Lowell fan, yeah. But wait, there's more. We got three more boxes to go. Oh, yeah, it's even. Alan, you have a hit? He has a hit? That's what I'm counting. You got something? He got something. Which is better than nothing. Too many times have I seen trades where one side just gets absolutely nothing. All right. 8 by 10 first.
right, 8 by 10 Active baseball player. Who am I? Active baseball player. I have a um, bats left, throws right, first baseman from Canada. Lifetime, as of now, 302 batting average. I have 1,962 hits, 306 home runs, and 1,005 runs batted and played for one team my entire career. Was a six-time All-Star, um, an NL MVP, an NL Hank Aaron Award winner, and a Gold Glover. Who am I? Yep, Eric Jennings and Oliver's got it. It's Joey Votto, and that's for TJ. There he is. You got the PSA right here. There's his autograph. Doing what he does at first base. Nice. And Adam was saying, hey, let's get TJ something. And that is for TJ, Adam. Some sort of sorcery there, some wizardry. There's all the PSA stuff right there, too. Nice. I like Joey Votto. The baseball. Where is it? It's all the way over here. All right, I don't want to reveal the name like I did last time. Oh, okay. Okay. I think I, I'm a retired baseball player. I think I've played for multiple teams my entire, but I played the most for that team. Okay. All right, who am I? I've got a lifetime, a retired baseball player, 83 years old. I'm still with us today, righty. Uh, what position did I play? First baseman and a member of the Hall of Fame, voted in by the Veterans Committee in 1999, played for one, two, three, four, five, six teams in my entire career, an 11-time All-Star, a World Series champion, an NL MVP, an NL Rookie of the Year, an NL Home Run Leader, a two-time NL RBI Leader, lifetime 297 batting average, 2,351 hits, 379 total home runs, 1,365 runs batted in. Who am I? Man, Eric Jennings is really good. Are you looking these up, Eric Jennings? Am I making this too easy for you? All right, it is indeed Orlando Cepeda, who played for the Giants the longest. Played for a lot of teams. Um, Atlanta for four seasons, St. Louis for a few seasons, but played with the Giants mostly. Nine seasons with the San Francisco baseball Giants. We got the David Adams card in here. It's a David Adams sticker right here. And there he is. He's got a Hall of Fame inscription and his autograph. All right, so that's for Tyler and the San Francisco Giants.
All right, and the jersey. Oh, is that that edition of this player? It is. All right. Who am I? Uh, let's see. Retired catcher, 73 years old, a righty, lifetime 269 batting average, 376 home runs, 2,356 hits, and 1330 RSBI. Played for two teams my entire career, an 11 time All Star, AL Rookie of the Year, uh, Gold Glove Award winner, three time Silver Slugger. The numbers retired. Uh, by both teams that I played for, and a Hall of Famer in 2000 with 79.6% uh, of the vote in my second ballot. Yep, PJ and Oliver, I think, got it pretty quickly. It's Carlton Fisk, and it's White Sox edition of Carlton Fisk. There you go. I think he was number 27 with the Red Sox and then with the White Sox, flipped it, 72. Got a Hall of Fame inscription down here as well with the Fanatic sticker and everything. Yeah, TJ's gonna like this product even more. He's got a couple hits right here. And TJ, this is another nice, this is a, another nice officially licensed jersey. Got all the officially licensed stuff right here as well. And of course, Carlton Fist autograph. Nice. And I'll, I'll refold that when, once I'm done with this break. So that goes to TJ who got the Red Sox, or the White Sox, I'm sorry, in a trade. boxes to go. PJ is saying uh, his mom ran into Carlton Fisk at a pharmacy in Massachusetts back in the late 70s. Nearly swooned over him seeing him live and has talked about his thighs for decades. His catcher's thighs. All right. Next box. Let's see who this is. Huh. All right. I like this guy. All right. Um, forty three year old. Inactive, he's not active anymore at 43, but I'm 43 now. Lefty, batted left, threw left, lifetime 295 average, 2,217 hits, 18 home, only, I only had 18 home runs in my career, 517 runs batted in, but 614 stolen bases. Played for a lot of teams, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven teams in my entire, or six teams in my entire career. Two teams twice, a World Series champion, and a three-time stolen base leader. Sean Green had a little more than 18 home runs, Oliver. And I don't think he was ever World Series champion. He, I was a World Series champion in the early 2000s.
I was named my team's most valuable player after that that uh, that World Series. Received the I've got a lot of accomplishments. Who's working on my Wikipedia page? Like Juan Pierre's kids or something like that. Received the James Cool Papa Bell Legacy Award from the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum in the early 2000s. Led the NL in stolen bases with 46 and 65 one year. The only player in baseball to play every inning of all my team's games in one year. And only the third player to do it since 1971. That's crazy. Um, in 2006, I robbed Barry Bonds of a career 714th home run, which would have tied Barry Bonds with Babe Ruth for the second on the all-time list, catching the ball right before it topped the fence. I was the first uh, player for this club to record 200 hits in a season. Wow, he stole his 100th base with my Dodgers, becoming only one of the four players in MLB history to steal at least 100 bases with three different teams. Stole 100 with the Rockies, 167 while I was with this team. Tommy Harper, Brett Butler, and Otis Nixon are the only others who have accomplished this feat. Yeah, two LZs got it. Juan Pierre. This guy was, he was on the Dodgers for a little bit. Yeah, and it's Marlins edition. There he is. Um, a pretty fun player to watch whenever he gets on base. So he was on the Dodgers for a little bit. So I, I enjoyed watching Juan Pierre play. Oh, did I say Juan? I said his name. I, I, I was just reading it. I was just like, this guy. There's a whole bullet pointed accomplishment section. So I was a little taken aback there. All right, Alan Murdoch has the fish. Yeah, he had. Yeah, he, he had no arm though. He 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 threw like like Peyton Manning in his last last year of his career. But fun to watch on the base paths. All right, the autograph baseball. Who am I? An active baseball player, lifetime 288, 60 home runs, 257 runs batted in. Played with uh, played with the Mariners, started my career with the Mariners, but currently on this team, which is where the baseball is going to go because I'm an active player. A one-time All-Star. Um, and I am the nephew of Wilson Valdez and married to the cousin of Vlad Guerrero Jr. He's on my fantasy team and just can't, stay healthy this season which is annoying because if he was healthy uh he'd be pretty good <laughs> like he was in 2019 when he hit 329 hit 32 home runs and had 92 rbis uh a handful of uh, almost a dozen stolen bases and finished fourth in mvp voting that was also my all-star season who am i If any of you care, I uh, I traded him with a couple other players to get Sandy Alcantara. Yep, Kettle Marte, Eric Jennings, getting it. Yeah, he had a real he had a really nice 2019. Ooh, that's a black baseball with gold ink. That's pretty cool. Like the autograph is smeared a little bit, but still really nice. Uh, Eric, what what gave it away? Eric's really good at this game.
And that's Alan Murdoch again with the Arizona Diamondbacks. The big season and Mariners, nice. Yeah, I, what happened in that? On November third, 23rd, 2016, the Mariners traded Marte and Taiwan Walker to the Diamondbacks for Gene Segura, Mitch Hanniger, and Zach Curtis. Taiwan Walker right now having a good season. All right. Who are you? Oh. Is that his number? I guess it was. All right, who am I? I'm a retired switch hitting shortstop Currently 54 years old. Lifetime 272 uh, batting average. 2,877 hits. 80 home runs and 951 runs batted in. Played for one, two, three, four, five, six teams my entire career. And uh, after I retired, I did a little coaching with the Angels and the Tigers. Three time All Star, 11 time Gold Glove shortstop. And the current man, I think I'm the current manager of the Toros de Tijuana in the Mexican League. Apparently, I had a feud with Jose Mesa. I don't know. They had a, he had a feud with Jose Mesa after his after the publication of his autobiography. Yep, Eric Jennings again. Omar Vizquel. So there, his autograph goes this way. There's the authentication sticker right there. This does not look, this looks like a custom jersey, so I'm going to leave it folded in here. Yeah, custom jersey. But you got the Vizquel right here. His number 13. And once again, his autograph. Cleveland, this is for you, Michael P. the last one. Indians, PJ. Those are the Indians' colors. It wouldn't be Mariners' color. I don't think there's any dispute, right? Not Mariners, not Giants, not Rangers, not White Sox, not Blue Jays. Alright, this is box 34 out of 100, our fourth and final box. 8 by 10 first. All right, who am I? An active baseball player, 37 years old, a righty. Um, my MLB stats. Uh, a, a shortstop, second baseman, third baseman, mostly first base. Lifetime uh, MLB stats, 291. 
81 home runs, 354 runs batted in. Has played for only one team my entire career. Won a World Series and a World Baseball Classic. Representing Cuba. Played for one team my entire career since 2016. I think you're actually on the right track, PJ. I think they might have been teammates. Um, and I've got a... Uh, I think... Don't I have a brother in... In baseball as well? Yeah, I've got a brother... Uh, in the MLB who plays for the Blue Jays. Yep, Oliver's got it. See you, Jesse. Have a good one, man. All right, there's his tiny autograph right here. <laughs> Yuli Guriel. <laughs> Which goes to the Astros. I'll be PJ. My brother, Lourdes Guriel, plays for uh, Lourdes plays for the Blue Jays. Well, the only Guriel that won a World Series, according to some PJ. That's the one. All right. Next one. Uh, oh, let's go baseball. All right. Who am I? I'm an active starting pitcher in the MLB. Uh, played for three teams my entire career. I've posted a uh, win-loss record of 134 to 95 losses, lifetime 344 ERA, and a lifetime 1,677 strikeouts. I'm a righty. Let's see. I don't want to give this away too early. All right. How about I give you uh, – I'll read you the pitching style section. I throw a variety of pitches. Although my main ones are a four-seam fastball, a two-seam fastball, a slider, which I supplement with a cutter, a changeup, and a curveball. I don't know why he has such a big pitching style section. Um, I only throw my changeup to lefties. Rarely use my curveball. Like to use my slider with two strikes. I have a distinctive windup, which on some pitches begin by spinning back towards second base, so my back faces the batter. And I've been compared to that of Luis Tiant and Hideo Nomo. My unorthodox uh, delivery where I would uh, turn towards second base, then shimmy before the ball was thrown, led Tigers manager Brad Osmus to question its legality during and after my shutout of the Tigers in 2015. I argued to umpire uh, Joe West during the game and to reporters after the game that my sometimes stops in the windup, thereby, thereby making my pitches illegal. Through most of my career, I've used uh, pitches from four different windups. The traditional windup, the Tiant, the quick pitch, and the rocking chair. Well, I have names for these, which uh, have contributed majorly to his big league su success. I'm also able to trick batters by using a variety of windups, using an arsenal that has a depth of almost 20 different types of pitches, which has helped me make me one of the top 10 pitchers in baseball since 2010. Hmm. Yeah, Oliver and uh, Eric Jennings got it. Johnny Cueto. There you go. You got the, the Steiner Authenticity card here and the baseball. There you go. There's the autograph. There's the sticker right here. Well, he's an active player, so he'll go to the Giants. Is he active? He's still active. He's still playing, isn't he? Yeah, he's still with the Giants. So that will go to Tyler. 
and the Giants. All right, and the final hit coming up, the jersey. All right, and the final jersey is going to be, is it? Ah, okay. All right. Another active baseball player, 28 years old, uh, switch hitting third baseman, and I throw righty. Lifetime batting average, 279, 145 home runs. 488 runs batted in and 135 stolen bases. Played for one team my entire career. And a three-time All-Star, three-time Silver Slugger, and part of the 30-30 club as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good. A doubles leader, two-time extra base hits leader, run scored leader, runs created winner, sacrifice hits leader, 30-30 club, two-time AL Player of the Month, three-time AL Player of the Week, Bob Feller, Man of the Year, All-Star, and three-time Silver Slugger at third base. Not Matt Chapman, no. I think both Matt Chapman and Chris Bryan, Eric Jennings, would love to have the speed that I have. All right, who has this player, by the way? Play for the AL from the Dominican Republic. Yeah, in 2018, hit 39 home runs and sold 34 bases to enter the 30-30 club. And I'm under contract with this team through 2021. He might, he might get a decent paycheck at the, uh, at, the, at the conclusion of that season. Not Lindor. What am I hitting this season? Yeah, I'm hitting pretty well this season. I'm hit this season. I'm hitting 260 with 19 home runs, 52 RBIs, and eight stolen bases. I have a two 2.9 WAR already at this stage of the season. Yep, Oliver's got it. Jose Ramirez. There's the autograph right there. There's the David Adams sticker. There's Ramirez's number 11. There's the R is there, I assure you. This looks like a custom jersey. Yeah, it's a Jose Ramirez custom jersey, so it doesn't have all the officially licensed stuff, so we'll just leave it nicely folded in the bag. And Cleveland, this is for you. That's for Michael and the tribe. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was a really fun break. That was uh, the uh, Hit Parade Autograph Triple Play Baseball Edition. Four boxes of some really fun stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next Hit Parade break. Bye-bye.